16 to the Rescue is sponsored by Invisible Fence of Northeast PA. We took this guy in because he's special. We're not really uh, a cat rescue, we're more the dogs, but we could not resist helping this boy. Quickly after meeting Clarence, you could understand that sentiment. Clarence has been living here at Friends with Paul's Pet Rescue in Scranton since December. He was found outside as a stray, but was so friendly to everyone in the neighborhood, neighbors knew they needed to save him. I really don't know. Uh, he was definitely indoor because he was trying to get in everybody's house. One of those houses happened to belong to a volunteer here at Friends with Paws. That's how he ended up here. And rescue workers are glad he did because he had sores in his mouth and has since been diagnosed with a condition called stomatitis. Clarence has to have a shot once a month to control the sores, but Friends with Paws will cover the cost of that forever. They would be required to take him there. We will supply his food. He likes uh, soft food only. Once in a while he'll eat um, dry. We have it in his pen here. but. Um, he prefers the, the wet and um, lickables, they're called. Clarence is an older cat, probably about 10, but he is still pretty active and loves to play. But probably what he enjoys most is being pet and getting brushed. He's beautiful, and uh, I love when I come in and he cries, because every time I walk in the door, he thinks I'm going to feed him, because that's my job. I feed him every day. So as soon as I walk in, he starts yelling. Clarence can go to a home with other dogs, cats, and kids. He's really only got one requirement, and it's an easy one. We don't want him back outside. That is not an option. He would be an indoor cat only. Um, otherwise, he would have died outside. And uh, we saved him, and we, we would like to see him live a long, healthy life. If you would like to meet Clarence, you can find his adoption information on WNEP.com. For this week's 16 to the Rescue, Allie Gallo, Newswatch 16, Scranton.